In the film Turning Red, Mei is a confident, geeky 13-year-old of Chinese descent living in Toronto, Canada. Rosalie Chang is Mei Li's voice. I'm probably gonna go to sleep and think this is all a dream. I mean, four years, I've been working on this film for four years, and to finally be here at the world for premiere is surreal. Rosalie Chang grew up in California, USA. She is an amazing English speaker, and she's only 16 years old in this interview. The red panda um, represents change because everyone goes through change in their life and it's going to be messy and awkward and you're going to hate it, but at the end of the day it's okay because everyone goes through it. Phrase number one is at the end of the day. This doesn't literally mean when the day finishes. It means in summary or it has the feeling of the final result. For example, the exam was tricky, but at the end of the day I tried my best. But at the end of the day, it's okay because everyone goes through it. Here, she means that change happens to everyone, so it's something we have to accept. Now let's look at the pronunciation and how to say it naturally. Saying each word at the end of the day does not sound good, so don't do this. To sound natural, we need a linking sound and a soft sound. Try this. The N. The N. Dove. Dove. At the end of. At the end of. Now we need to add some stress. This is where we hit the word. We are going to hit it on the E, the end. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. Let's look at some examples. I think it's a combination. I think at the end of the day. And at the end of the day. And at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, culture is what is hardest to copy. But at the end of the day, it's okay because everyone goes through it. I never said no bad. I know, it's a lot. <laughs> but I don't got time to mess around. But I don't got time to mess around. Speaking phrase number two is, I don't got time to. If that sounds strange to you, then congratulations, because it is actually grammatically incorrect language. Anyone who knows grammar will tell you it should actually be I don't have time to, or I haven't got time to. But wait, before you write to complain to Disney Pixar about their terrible grammar, some native speakers really do use this phrase. If someone wants to sound cool and urban, they might say, for example, I don't got time to study. I got bigger fish to fry. Bigger fish to fry means to have more important things to do. So this guy is trying to say in a cool way, I don't have time to study because other things are more important, maybe rapping or chilling with friends. Yes. I don't got time to run, you know why? Because I'm too busy running a business. Exactly, you know I mean? amen. I don't got time for no, no extra anything. I don't got time to explain to you. I don't got time for the, oh my God. Look at that torso. And I don't, I don't got time for this. I know, it's a lot. But I don't got time to mess around. In Turning Red, May says, I don't got time to mess around. A phrase indicating cool. And it shows her playing in the school band, getting A plus grades and carrying math stickers. All things that are traditionally not very cool. Which makes her funny in an endearing way. For me, I think the biggest thing is, is change. The red panda um, represents change because everyone goes through change. Speaking phrase number three is for me. Now, you might be thinking, seriously, that isn't a phrase. But native speakers use it a lot. And it makes you sound more natural when speaking. For example, for me, skiing always gets me buzzing. In English, buzzing means to make you excited. For me, the most like. For me, the most important is that I think. That for me, the most important thing is how comfortable they are. My name is Eric Weimer, and I'm the first blind person to have climbed the tallest peak in every continent. The movement is for me the most exciting part. For me, I think the biggest thing is is change. The red panda um, represents change because everyone goes through change. She's saying that, in her opinion. The main theme of Turning Red is change. 
to pronounce this well, think of a dog and playing tennis. Don't say oh, for. Instead, say it more like the word fur, but say it fast. Fur, fur, fur. Think of the word me like hitting a tennis ball. We stress the word me. For me. For me. For me. For me, May is pretty cool despite her geekiness. And at the end of the day, we're all just trying to be our best selves. Have you got an example sentence? Type it in the comments below. Thanks to everyone who pressed like and subscribe already. That's you, right? Remember, all the phrases today are for speaking. You could use them in informal emails or messages to friends, but they're definitely not for essays or for work emails. But most of the thing is anyone can watch it and just have a good time. Like, it's funny. It's, there's not a dull moment. It's, it's like all these genres combined into one movie, and it's just a fun time. Breakfast is ready. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby.